Hey everyone, Mandolin here with an easy Varrock achievement guide. Before you start working on these, make sure you have these skill requirements met. You'll need the following items to go through all of the achievements. I'll show you how you can get a cup of tea on your way through the tasks. The rod and axe can be on your tool belt too. The best place to get an earth talisman is from giant spiders in the lumbered swamp or near the goblins. If you have a wicked hood with an earth talisman in it or an earth tiara, that'll work too. You can easily get bones and feathers from the chickens in Lumbridge as well. You'll also need to earn 50 kudos in the Varrock Museum. I'll show you how you can get those once I get there. There are no quest requirements for these achievements, but completing the dig site will make it easier to get kudos, along with various other quests I'll explain when the time comes. For the most efficient path, bring enough air, fire, and law runes to use the Varrock Teleport spell twice. To start, teleport to Edgeville with all of the items you need. Go south of the trap door and open it to head down. That's all you need to do for this first one, so head back up the ladder once you get on the ragged edge. Now go around the wall and head south to the fishing spot. Make sure you have a fly fishing rod equipped on your tool belt along with a few feathers. Click on the lure option and keep going until you catch a trout and achieve Sherpa's Delight. Head southwest to Barbarian Village. Go to the clay mine to the south and mine one piece of clay. Then go to the well in the middle of the village to turn the clay soft. Now go to the southeasternmost building and click on the potter's wheel. Click on the bowl and mold it, and then fire it on the pottery oven. If you've done everything in the village, you'll achieve Pot Stop. Next up, go to the middle of the village and head down the ladder into the Stronghold of Security. For this achievement, you need to reach the second level. If you're a high enough combat level, you can use these portals on the floor to quickly navigate through. Otherwise, just follow my path. Go south through the two doors, and then east through the next pair. Follow the path north and keep going through the doors. Keep going east to the next set of doors and then south towards the big chamber. Climb down the ladder to reach the second level and complete making learning fun. For a fast exit, use your Varrock teleport spell to get to the middle of Varrock. Talk to Benny by the northeast stalls in Varrock Square. Choose the first option twice to buy a newspaper and then achieve read all about it. Now go northeast following the castle wall to the manhole. Open it up and go down. Go 
slightly northeast and up the corridor here. Head through the metal door and keep going east to the end. Follow the path all the way around and through the next two metal doors. Now go all the way west until you see the corridor with a web in it. Simply pass through the web to achieve stick the knife in. For a fast exit, use your Varrock teleport spell again. Go south to the clothing store and right click on Thessalia to change your clothes. Take off all equipment and remove all cosmetics before doing this. Just opening the interface will achieve strike a pose. Next, go southwest of Varrock towards the mine. All you need to do is mine one iron ore and you'll get doing the ironing. Head southeast towards the agility shortcut. Jump over the fence and achieve jumping off point. Cross back over and head back north into Varrock. Go slightly northeast towards the magic shop. Once you're there, right click on Aubrey and teleport to the Rune Essence Mine. Arriving here will achieve Essential Facilitator. Enter the portal to return and then go northeast looking for a stray dog. Right click your bones and use them on the dog. Careful not to bury them. After achieving Dog and Bone, you can buy a cup of tea from the seller directly east of here for an upcoming task. Now go north and enter the museum. For this one, you'll need at least 50 kudos. If you've completed any of these quests, talk to Minus on the second floor to get kudos. If it's not enough but you've completed Dig Site, you can get kudos by cleaning finds in this roped off area. Grab everything off of the tool rack and take the specimen rock from the pile. Then use it on a specimen table to clean. Talk to an NPC here if it's any of these items to hear what display case it goes in. If it's not one of these, dump it in the crate and try again. You'll get 10 kudos from each of these items placed in a case. Once you have 50 kudos, talk to High Callan on the first floor and you'll achieve It Belongs in a Museum. Once that's done, head out of the museum and go northwest towards the estate agent. Right click on him to relocate your house and change the location. Choose any location and you'll achieve relocation, relocation, relocation. Now go northeast into the chapel and go up the stairs. Use 
your tea on LC. Careful not to drink it. Choose option 1 to hand it over and you'll complete Jackanori. While here, keep climbing up the staircase until you reach the top floor to get King of the Castle. This will also work on the Varrock Palace Guard Tower. Climb all the way back down and leave through the Northern Varrock Gate. Go southeast, and then east towards the Earth Altar. Once you enter it, you'll achieve Journey to the Center of the Earth Altar. Leave through the portal and go directly north to the Lumber Mill. Buy a plank of whatever log type you brought and you'll achieve plank you very much. Go around to the west side and squeeze under the fence. Chop down the dying tree in front of you and complete lumbering around. Now leave the mill and keep going east towards the Silver Ray Mine. Head up to the limestone rock and mine one limestone from it. You'll complete Limey and finish all achievements. To collect your reward, teleport to the Varrock Lodestone and go southwest. Talk to Rack Burgess and ask about the task system to get everything. You'll get a 1000 XP lamp and Varrock armor. You'll also gain access to the forge in Edgeville, which is a great location for jewelry crafting and smelting on Iron Man. Okay, and that's everything for the easy Varrock achievements. There will be more achievement guides in the future, so please subscribe to check those out and leave a like. I also stream RuneScape Live with Shadow Duke on Twitch, so check us out there and give us a follow. You can find a link to that in our Discord in the description. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!